Ahoy, lads and lassies! There be a legend centuries old of a lost treasure more valuable than gold. Though the pirates searched both land and sea, they could not find where it might be until Captain Billy sailed the ocean blue and brought that treasure home to you. So grab your treasure map, climb aboard the Caribbean Queen, and join us as Captain Billy Ocean and his crew unveil the greatest wonders God has ever shown. My name is Nigel, but everybody on board just calls me matey. I'm the midshipman. That means I'm in charge of the middle of the ship, from here to about here. But not for long. I'm leaving the Caribbean Queen. You see, Captain Billy Ocean and Ripley Waters give me orders, and then they make me tell the men what to do, and they get mad at me. I can't take it anymore, so I've packed my things, and I'm going to leave before anyone knows I'm gone. Matey! Matey, where are ye? Uh-oh! That's Ripley Waters! I've got to hide! Don't tell him you saw me! Matey, where are ye? Oh, I need you on board too, sweet. Oh, ahoy, kids. How are you? Um, you haven't seen Matey, have you? Uh, well, where is he? In here. Is he below deck? Back, oh, back here. Oh, there you are, Matey. Ah, <laughs> you spotted me. Hey, what are you doing hiding and, and why do you have your running away bag? Oh, are you running away from home? No, I'm not running away from home. No. I'm running away from boat. Oh. You see, sir, madam, I just don't feel appreciated by anyone. What are you talking about? Just the other day, the men were saying just how much fun they have with you. <laughs> oh, you? Well, this week alone, they stuffed me in a barrel, locked me in the powder room, and hung me by the mainsail by my ankles. Oh, see what I mean? That's loads of fun. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, face it, sir, madam. The men hate me because I make them do their chores. Oh, now, hate is such a strong word. Uh, they're just having fun with you. They don't mean no harm. Well, I don't have to stay here and be disrespected. I can go lots of places and be disrespected. I'm leaving, no. and don't try and stop me. Oh, now, wait, 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 wait there, matey. Mm? I think that God has a special plan for you here above the Caribbean Queen. Ooh. You remind me of Hagar. Hagar? Who is Hagar? Oh, no, no, no. It's pronounced Hagar. Hagar. Yeah. You see, that was Sarai's servant. Oh. Uh, uh, that was um, the wife of Abraham. Ah. Uh, let me get the treasure map out and I'll show you. All right. Ah, here you see. All right now. Do you remember when God promised to make Abram a father of a great nation? Oh, yes. He promised to give him more grandkids than the dust of the earth. Right, he did. Only Abram and Sarai had grown very old and had still not had a baby. Oh. So Sarai asked her servant, Hagar, to marry Abram and to have a baby. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, you're probably right. Mm. But... Hagar married him, and when she got pregnant, that's when the trouble started. Yeah. Hagar started hating Sarai, okay. and then Sarai treated Hagar so badly that she ran away. Oh, that's exactly how I felt! Yes, but the oh. angel of the Lord found her in the desert what? and told her to go home to Sarai. He told Hagar that she would have a baby boy named Ishmael. He promised her that God would give her more grandchildren than the dust of the earth. That's <laughs> the same promise that God made to Abram. Aye, that's right. It made Hagar happy that somebody oh. saw her. She gave God a special name. She named him, You are the God who sees me. And then did she go back to Sarai and have Abram's baby? Aye, and she called him Ishmael. Ah, and then was everything all right? Well, for a while it was, but then God changed Abram and Sarai's name to Abraham and Sarah, and God gave them a baby boy named Isaac. Oh, that's a big miracle, because Sarah was very old. Aye, 90 years old, in fact. Uh, but that's a story for another day. All right. Okay, now, Sarai, Sarah saw Hagar's son making fun of Isaac, so she told Abraham to get rid of Hagar and his son. But Ishmael was... 
was Abram's son too. Aye, he was, and it made Abram very sad. But God told him not to worry, he, that he would take care of Ishmael and Hagar. God promised to make Ishmael into a great nation as well. There's that promise again. Yes, Abraham gave Hagar and Ishmael food and water and let them out into the desert. It must have broken his heart. What, 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 what happened? Did they survive? They almost didn't make it. But then the God heard the boy crying and the angel of the Lord called Hagar from heaven. It must have sounded something like this. Hagar! Ooh, I like the way you say that, sir. Can we all try it? Oh, sure. Um, oh. Let's all try it together. Hey, Hagar! No, no, no. You have to stretch it out more. Hagar! No, no. In, in your throat. Back in the throat. Close enough. All right. Then the angel called Hagar and told God that he heard the boy crying and he would make Ishmael into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes to see a well of water before them. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. God kept his promise. Aye, he did. And God kept rescuing Ishmael and Hagar because they belonged to Abraham. And God had promised to bless all of Abraham's family. Oh, that's a beautiful story, sir or madam. God kept watching over Hagar and Ishmael. He really is the God who sees. Aye, God is always looking out for his people. Sir, do you think God sees me? Oh, of course he does. God is always looking out and loving his children. Well, then, could you... I mean, could I stay on board? I thought you were running away. Well, I was, but now I don't see the point. God can bless me right where I am. Permission to stay on board the Caribbean Queen, sir or madam? Mm, permission granted. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell the men. Hey, fellas, God sees me! Oh, oh, watch out. I will let that be a lesson for your kids. Don't go looking for smoother waters. God can bless you wherever you are. God is the God who sees. Until next time, may the God of wonders fill your sails and guide your path. <laughs> <laughs>